Hello, this is Bern, and if you've ever been in a relationship with a man who's controlling and you want to avoid stepping into that in the future and you're scared perhaps of putting yourself out there because of this, well, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you nine signs that are often overlooked that can lead to you being in a painful relationship with a controlling man. So stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with high value, conscious, ambitious, heart open women how to create the relationship you crave and attract the man that you want as a result of stepping into the highest version of yourself. No gimmicks, no manipulation, no fake strategies, simply you shining your brightest light. Today, I want to share with you nine signs that could lead to the man you're with being a controlling man and entering a painful relationship. And the reason why I share this is because I have connected with so many women who have suffered so much from men who are hurtful and who are controlling. And it's like a frog in boiling water. If you throw the frog in boiling water, she jumps out or he jumps out. But if you turn off the heat slowly, they don't recognize that they're being cooked alive. And that's what happens to so many women who allow themselves to be manipulated by guys who show up in a specific way. So the first sign, and by the way, the signs that I'm sharing with you right now, some are obviously more clear and more punchy than others. In combination, they create a pattern. If you do, the guy just has one of them and it's one of the simple ones, he may not be a controlling guy. You just want to understand that it might lead to that uh, and use your best judgment, right? The first one is if he shows up disproportionately excited about you and interested in you without any level of feedback from you, like you haven't given him any clues, you, you're not really flirting with him, you're not, he doesn't really know who you are, but he's showing up like he knows you, like he wants to marry you from day one, he's showering you with love and attention in a disproportionate way to the depth that you connect with each other at or with a level of, no, I mean, amount of days you've known each other, that's a sign that he could be showing up with so much, not necessarily because he is there that way emotionally, but because he's actually in his mind planting some seeds in your mind that would allow him to make withdrawals later on. So he's giving you something and then he will expect something on the back end that is not for your best interests at heart. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't want a guy to pursue you. You shouldn't want a guy who shows up with interest, but there is a fine line between showing up with interest and showing up, showering you with interest in an almost like sneaky way that feels off at some level. Number two, he speaks a lot more than he listens to you and he interrupts you constantly. If you connect with a man and you go on a date and he's just talking, it's all about himself, uh, almost narcissistically, he's talking about himself and when you start talking, he like pushes, pushes it on the rug or he doesn't, uh, he, does, he doesn't really give you the space to speak and he interrupts because his point of view is more important. That's a subtle sign that he's that guy who wants to control situations and potentially wants to control you in the future. Third sign, he gets visibly angry with you when things don't go his way. Like There's always a situation in life where you're going to get pissed or he's going to get pissed when things don't happen. But when it has to do with both of you and he doesn't get something he wants, you don't go to the restaurant he wants, you don't respond in the number of minutes that he considers and he starts going out of his way in anger, almost like it's, it's disproportionate. His level of anger is disproportionate to what's going on. That's a clear sign that this guy's a controlling <laughs> mofo. Uh, the next one, number four, he doesn't, he doesn't ask for your opinion or point of view on things that you are obviously qualified in or even much better at in life than him. Now, he's a lawyer, you're a doctor, and he's not asking you for your opinion on bench proceedings. Well, that's cool because you know your stuff, but if there's things that you have uh, knowledge or expertise in and his voice is the important one, another, another subtle sign that he might be the kind of guy who likes it his way and likes to do things his way and also likes to control things in, in, to a certain extent. Number five, he feels like you should, constrain, uh, you should consult with him on stuff that you don't feel like you should consult with him. He feels you should ask for his approval on the way you dress or the things you do 
or the times you go out with friends, like he's, he's tempting, he says a double standard, right? Because he doesn't ask you for your opinion on, on him doing certain things, but he wants to have a say on the way you do things. You start feeling early on that he has a strong point of view that infringes on your freedom in a way that feels not healthy. When you start noticing, he's asked me for something that uh, he's not my dad and he's acting like I'm 15 and he's wanting me to ask for permission to do things. That's a run the fuck away sign that that guy is potentially controlling and you're not going to enjoy being with him long term. Number six, he has unfounded jealousy, jealousy issues. So he gets jealous for no reason whatsoever or for reasons that are really not to be jealous about. And then instead of him expecting he, himself, like once you clarify it, inspect, instead of him saying, well, it's my thing, I'll work on it. He says, well, I know it's my thing, but you work on it. Like, I know it's insecurity of mine, but you should still change to, <laughs> to fulfill my, my insecurity needs. That's a, again, another runaway sign. Uh, if you start noticing that that's something that's, that's a common thing or happens a couple of times, he's really not, I mean, jealousy that's unfounded and an unwillingness to work on that jealousy is also a sign of control that you absolutely want to run away from. They, as you can start noticing, some of them get heavier than others. This one's a heavy one, right? Uh, he's always right. Number seven, he feels like he's always right and there's a lack of humility. When you know that the guy, no matter what happens, his word is the last word, he says the right say, his opinion is a valid one, there's no humility entering situations that's a controlling sign that you want to be very cognizant of because it can create the deepest sense of not being seen, not being heard, not being experienced the way you want to in a relationship and obviously at the end, the destruction of it. Number eight, his manipulation strategy, his go-to manipulation strategy is guilting you or shaming you into feeling bad about something. Like when things don't go his way, he wants to do, uh, he wants to play the victim in such a way that you feel guilty or that you feel ashamed of your behavior. He's never one, I mean, he's one who would actually speak loudly at you in a restaurant in a way that you would feel so uncomfortable out of feeling like he wants to have one up on you. That's a controlling sign as well. Last but not least, and there's probably more, but I'm giving you right now enough that you can really run with. The last one is, and this probably would be one that the moment you feel it and you understand it, that's a sign of getting out of the relationship when he wants you to feel pain because he felt pain. Okay, when, you, when someone is, uh, he experiences pain in some way, he experiences anger or sadness or feels humiliated in some way, and then he wants to punish you. He wants to make sure that you suffer as a result of what he suffered so that you understand what he's doing. And that might mean that he does something to, to create pain in your life, whether it's raising his voice or ignoring you for days at a time until you feel like you're out of your brain exploding and then he comes back because now you understand the way he felt. He wants you to experience pain as a result of what the pain he experienced. That is the worst controlling sign that you could ever experience with someone. And one, I mean, aside from somebody beating you up or trying to force uh, himself into you, that's an emotional sign, that's a sign of emotional abuse. Uh, that's controlling as fuck and something you should run away from. So hopefully by going through this list, understandably knowing that some of them are higher than others, some of them are more subtle maybe in him and are not maybe a red flag completely, but the combination of some of these are a clear sign that the guy you're with wants to control your life as a sign of his own insecurity and it's gonna be an unhealthy relationship that will end in utter destruction emotionally, even physically at some point. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful to you. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things, my dear. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And if you don't wanna miss a video, then click on the little bell. Uh, I'm maybe nine days away from reaching the 100,000 subscriber um, <laughs> number, which is a milestone. Uh, be part of this movement if you feel like what I'm sharing is useful. I want to help your life be better and you understand me more deeply. The last thing I'll share is if you, most important of all, if you want to go deeper in your understanding of men, in understanding how to create the relationship you want, there's a couple of things for you. Number one, on the first line on the description of this video, you're going to find a link that allows you to go into a master class. It's free. Enter your name and email and then you'll be taken to this master class that shows you how to create the kind of relationship you want with a lot less pain, a lot less running around in circles than your current trajectory. 
And if you say, Bern, I love your videos, I love what you're sharing, I'm at a point in my life where I don't have the luxury of five more years of trial and error. I am sick and tired of trying to rediscover fire when somebody's already discovered this thousands of years ago and can show me the way. I would like some hand-holding through the process, through the value of uh, you know, confusion into how to step into my most radiant self and create the relationship I want with an amazing conscious man, then there's help available. If you and I might be uh, fit to work together, there's another link on the description of this video that will allow you to put an application in. Uh, I'll personally read all the applications. If I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out to you and we'll set up a time to connect. And if we're fit, then uh, I'll offer to work together. And if it works great, if it doesn't, then no harm done, at least you're moving things forward. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.